So we have completed phase one of the suicide mission. We've made it onto the collector base, but here's where the tough start, tough part begins. We got our little team here of uh, Shepard, Grunt, and Legion. We got the B team over there and Thane for some reason. <laughs> Thane could be his own damn team. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's about. the F team. Fuck you. Oh wait, no, sorry, Z team. Um. <laughs> I'm inside the ventilation shaft, Shepard. It's hot in here, but it's clear as far as I can tell. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. See, the one th problem that I kind of had with this ending is that I wanted the whole squad, like all eight members or whatever, to like be side by side like fighting you know what i mean uh we'll get that eventually in three and yeah DLC, we'll get that but... in three but it's still not as satisfying as i would have liked it i i don't know i really like out of all three games this definitely has the best conclusion uh, -huh. uh you know it has the best final level it has the best just overall conclusion that's not saying i'm not one of those idiots that thinks that the ending of mass effect 3 is worse than cancer but um i just think that if they were to utilize every single member of your team, this part would be a complete clusterfuck. Because like, I feel like that would be like if you had to. This select... is not supposed to go smooth at all. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but that's the thing. It does though. That's the point of this: is that you have to organize things in a way that it goes smoothly. If it doesn't go smoothly, that's on you. It can not go smoothly. Yeah, but I don't know. Like I feel like uh, up ahead, like. No, it, no, no. Hold it's... on. Let me get to my point. If you were to select a thing for every single member on your team to do, if you put one person in the wrong thing, that could potentially kill two of your characters. And that's not cool. I like that you only have to select, like... You usually utilize, like, half of your squad, and that's because, like, at one point you're gonna have to pick a biotic. You could pick either Miranda, Samara, or, or, um, or Jack. So you just kind of want to think, all right, which one would be the best out of all of these people? So you really just think about it, and I like that you don't have to use every single person on your team. Because think about it, right now if Tali was going through the vents and then there was like a vent on the other side where it's like, Hey, I'm Morton, and I'm going on the other vent. It would just kind of get like annoying like why are there two vents it's because they couldn't think of enough things for enough characters to do I don't know I just feel like uh, I don't know I have the same problem with Nice Hero Republic 2 but I won't get into that yeah because I'd like to actually play that mm -hmm. so yeah if you can't tell what's going on here Tali's going through vents it's getting hot in those vents you need to open up the vents before uh, Tali burns to death and suffocates. Yeah. Not necessarily in that order. You would think that her suit would have some sort of like, you know, hey, not hot button. You no, know what I mean? Like internal kinda... air conditioning or something. I guess. But I, yeah, still there'd be damage to the internal systems if it's, uh -huh. you know, 200 degrees in there. Alright, Gabe Newell, where are you? <laughs> Give me your money. What, why is he Obama? Oh, um, America? Oh, uh, Half-Life 3? It is never gonna be big. Yeah, the Valve didn't do anything at E3, did they? They never do. They did like once. It's not as VGAs, I don't know. Yeah. They announced Portal 2 at the VGAs. Um, which was a mistake because Jeff Keighley is annoying. Jeff Keighley, I'm sorry, I know you watch these. Just like, uh, who's Miranda's voice actor? Yvonne Strahovski, which thank you, I was going to talk about her. Because she, um, not only is she going to hit me up, we're totally going to start dating soon. Um, she's been on a lot of, like, TV shows recently, which is cool, but since they use her facial model for Miranda, it's hard to not just, like, look at her characters and say, Miranda... Especially on the new 24 miniseries, where she's running around with Kiefer Sutherland, so I'm kind of like, oh, 
Big Boss, Big and, boss Miranda. and Miranda are going on their own adventures. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's the thing is that I want to try and get into 24, but because Kiefer Sutherland's just using like his regular voice for Big Boss, I feel. Like, it's going to be hard to watch 24 and not be like, oh, hey, Big Boss. I think it'll enhance the the enjoyment, because I've always loved 24, and that's why I was always okay with him being the new voice actor. I think it's on Netflix, so yeah, you Yeah, it's it. on Netflix. As soon as I'm done with House, I'm on season 5. God damn. Yeah. I like I bought a box set a year and I was like, yep, I'm gonna watch these like over the year. And you're just trying to like barge them all. That's the thing is that it takes so much out of you because every episode's the yeah. same. Uh -huh. It's like a patient is sick. House tries to figure her out. House has answer. Not real answer, you know, like just ugh. So this is where uh, things would fuck up if you didn't select the right person. If Tali's not the tech expert, you could potentially die here because the person... Like, if you put Jacob to be the tech expert, he's going to, like, try and close the door and everyone's going to die. Mm -hmm. So again, you need to be strategic with this shit. Yeah. Think of things like tech expert. Don't make Grunt the tech expert. Yeah. He's not a tech expert. He's a squish skull expert. Yes. Nice work, Tally. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. This is a really cool song. I think we heard this before on the collector. I thought it was visual. No, this isn't visual. I think we've gone like 20 videos without Vigil at this yeah. point. Looks like one of the missing colonists. There's more over here. God, she's still alive. Again, we talked about this before. The longer you wait to do the suicide mission, the bigger chance that these characters will all just die. Mm -hmm. I think this character always dies just to show yeah. like what happens. If, if you don't, uh, if, if you wait a while like I did, that was the one mistake I did. Is I waited like mm -hmm. a video, or I mean not a video. A I, video. I, I wait. I did a mission before I did uh, the, the suicide mission because uh -huh. I didn't think you could continue with the game afterwards. So I wanted to wrap up some missions. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kelly Chambers died for me. It wasn't oh, a really? colonist. Yeah. And for those of you who are watching and have no idea who Kelly Chambers is, I point at Mike because I don't think she was ever in a video. She is in a vi- uh, Nothing no. Are you okay? I agree. Yeah. Kelly Chambers is like your secretary. Yeah, she's not very, like, interesting. Yeah. Same with Chuck was. After this game, we talked to her once more in 3 and then mm -hmm. no one never see her again. Yeah. So I'm sorry all you Chuck was fans. Yeah. Oh, also one of the engineers dies for me. I think I the, the think woman one. The colonists were processed. Those swarms of little robots, they melted their bodies into gray liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. I'm gonna fuck up right here. Uh, this was really bad. Joker? Yeah, who'd you? Oh God, who did you pick? Because one person who you have to pick if you want him to live. Yeah, I fucked up here. If you want him to live, I'm sorry. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? This part I don't fuck up on. The biotic part. The biotic part, we're good. I think it may be possible. First time through, I picked Samara. Yeah, I always pick Samara. We might be able to get a small team Even though I think Jack is the more powerful biotic. Yeah. I don't think she's as like controllable. Like she's not in control. There's no difference. First time I picked Samara. Um, 
We're gonna pick Thane. No, no, <laughs> no. We're gonna pick Jack and because uh, I'd never seen Jack course. in this part before. So I was like, oh, let's try it out. Right through the main path. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. Don't worry, Shepard. Everyone will be hydrated. Here we go. This is where I fuck up. Sorry about this. This was bad. Pick. There's one person you have to pick. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. I'm very sorry about this. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have picked who I picked. Don't pick Thane. Joker, send me the landing zone coordinates. We'll meet you there. We've all got a response. Uh, which is going to leave Morden open to die. Yep. Morden is the... We I've been saying it throughout the series, but... Morden is the weakest combative character, and he will not survive the, no. uh, the end fight. No, so I'm sorry. Uh, Morden... You're one of my favorite characters. I shouldn't have picked Thane. No one should ever pick Thane for anything. Thane can go suck a dick. <laughs> now I know why you have this pent up rage against Thane. Uh, no, I just do it because I know you like him. But yeah, this this shtick, if you could like not figure it out. But Jack is putting a biotic bubble around you guys. If you go outside the bubble, secret swarms are gonna kill you. Think of it like the krill from Gears of War. Mm -hmm. And of course you will have to fight things, sometimes the way that Jack moves, there's not going to be like a lot of cover, so this part can be pretty interesting to uh, deal with, fighty-wise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As an infiltrator, I, it's kind of a hit or miss, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where, again, yeah, you either hit the enemy or you don't, <laughs> but I'm fish. I'll be here all week. Ugh. Battle theme isn't particularly spectacular in this level. It's epic, but it's not it's not as catchy as like no, a lot of the other ones. Eh, it fits the mood, sort of. Yeah, it does. It's uh, it's rousing, it's exciting, but it's not very catchy. Did Jack just call you Commander? Yes. That's she called me by my first name! Why? That is so out of character for Jack, though. Well, I've got her loyalty. Still. Oh, well. I'm... She'd call you Shepard, not Commander. Yeah, I'm getting real used to, uh, what's-her-face, Courtney Taylor's voice, because I just, uh, the past week I've been recording Ada's campaign in Resident Evil 6, and, uh, I think she she's really good. I like her. She's getting up there in the ranks of, uh, female voice actresses that I like. Uh, I like her as Jack, and I like her as Ada. <laughs> like Shepard's little strut. Well, yeah, because I'm trying to like. Okay, geez. here we got some abominations. Same thing as always. Uh, I still think they're really annoying. I forget. Can Jack die in this section? Yes, if you don't have her loyalty, and she's. Well, no. I mean, like, can she get shot and killed? Like, no. If an abomination runs up to her and bitch slaps. Oh, her, well, maybe I don't know. I've yeah, never I'm had that happen. about that. I've never had that happen, so I'm going to just say no. Yeah. Because I would imagine it's just like game over failed, you know, not like, oh, she's dead. Yeah, yeah but uh, if if you don't have this character's loyalty, and somehow they survived the uh, the, the Normandy the, part, because the, the, yeah. the, the part on the Normandy doesn't have as much to do with loyalty as it does with the upgrades. Yeah. But if you don't have their upgrades, or if you don't have their loyalty, you don't have the upgrades, but... Some characters can survive sometimes. I think there's like a percentage of a chance that they can. Yeah, you can get through this and not have like someone's loyalty. Yeah. But it's very difficult. But this part specifically, this part with, with Jack, or whichever biotic, they can potentially die at the very end of this one section in a cutscene. Uh huh. What was that? That was a little weird edit there. I don't know what that was about. Let's go. Targets eliminated. Yeah, they are legion. I See, did all the work. No, this, you didn't. <laughs> this entire uh, level, I pretty much picked grunt and and legion because. 
they are two of my favorite characters. You know, I love yeah. them. Besides Morden, uh, Grunt is probably my other favorite character. Mm -hmm. He's a space cowboy. Yep. <laughs> Garrus, you're not even in our party right now. Stay hydrated! I think he's just yelling that because of how little he's done in this game, in gameplay. He's like, I still haven't killed, like, more than four enemies. I need to make Shepard think I'm competent. Uh, nice shooting, got one! Yeah. Boom goes the dynamite. No one said that in years, Garrus. Garrus, you're not funny. Was Shaq-tastic. What the fuck? <laughs> who, who is Shaq? He's an obscure basketball player for thousands of years ago, Shepard. What did he say, grunt now? Eat rye? I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's kosher rye. Enemy disabled. Do we both have, like, hearing issues? Because I just heard Legion say, I think I'm disabled. <laughs> Commander, I think I'm disabled. My leg hurts. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Garrett's. So over here, there's gonna be some husks that just come up. This is the real last stretch here. Yeah, I think you got, like, one more, like, sit-down-and-shoot area. Maybe. Most of this is just gonna be running at this point. Oh, yeah, you have to run down the hill or whatever. But there's still gonna be husks. They're gonna come out from, uh... Like, the edge of the, the map and stuff. Come on, Jack. Don't pussy out now. I can see the entrance. Need to get there soon. You yeah, know, anticipating where these guys are gonna be. Mm -hmm. I just happen to be guessing. That's convenient. Uh, think like a developer. Mm. Think like a developer, 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 developer. This is where this person can die in this yeah, place. Uh, We're almost there. Let's move. We're pushing. Keep it up. 